Hey guys, it's Voy, and I hope you guys are having a blessed whatever the time of the day it is for you. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this book with this design. This is part one of two, so stay tuned to see what part two will be about. Okay, also, I have a package that I got delivered. Watch till the end of the video to find out what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I folded the page. I'm kind of salty. Um, okay. <clears throat> anyway, without further ado, let's hop on into it. So what you'll need is a cutting mat or a surface that you're okay with getting cut. Designer paper. I got this from the dollar store. A sketchbook, specifically the paper. I also got this from the dollar store. A metal ruler scissors, an exacto knife, paintbrush, Mod Podge or good liquid glue, thread, a needle for said thread so that you can sew the book together <laughs> or bind it, sorry and a writing utensil, preferably a pencil. So start by taking out the paper. So I like to use this method by folding against the lines so that it's easier to rip out and I don't rip the page itself. Have the paper in the landscape position, then fold it as if you were folding a card or a piece of paper in half, which is exactly what you're doing. Once you're satisfied with the way it lines up, you can start to crease your paper and make sure you crease it well. You're going to want to repeat this step about 21 times, so this will be the 21st if you're counting down, so that you end up with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there are 3 times 7 signatures. Obviously you can see now it's not good at opening nicely with that <laughs> so we're gonna deal with that later for this next step you're going to need the ruler a pencil and at least one signature a quick tip make sure they're all on the same side so the raggedy edges are on one side and the non raggedy edges are on the other so take one signature out and once you've done that you're going to want to Line it up with the thicker lines on the cutting mat. So take the edge that is folded, make sure both edges are to the corners of the lines, so in one square, and make sure it is aligned properly, because if it isn't, it may get messed up. Now you want to start drawing at the points. So I'm going two centimeter by two centimeter. This cutting mat already comes with centimeter measurements. Then you want to put the stack of the other signatures on that one. Make sure it is straight and aligned because it will get messed up. And start drawing a line all the way up so that you know where to poke the holes for your signature. For poking the holes, you want to open up the signature and you're going to follow those lines. My apologies, points. Oh, that point, I made a mistake, so don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> Make sure your pages are all aligned so that you don't have a hole all the way in some next corner. Take your needle and start making the holes. If that was too difficult, you can take a ruler or something to wedge in between and use a needle. <laughs> to poke the same holes through. Oh, looked like it wasn't even there. Okay, and you're gonna repeat this seven times for the seven different signatures. And if that was too difficult, or the past two were too difficult, you're going to use, or you can use a thumbtack or something pointy just to get through the holes. After the binding holes have been made and they are aligned, you're going to 
double thread your needle and cut to your desired length. Now you want to tie it. For those who don't know how to tie, wrap it around your two fingers. Then you're going to want to bring the open thread underneath the little donut. Bring it through the donut hole and pull to make it tighter. I wanted minimal amount of thread left so I try to get thread closer to the edge of the thread. <laughs> Then I decided to tie it two more times, or sorry, knot it two more times, so that, oh, it's blurred. But anyway, so that at least the knot won't come through the binding hole. The length of my thread is 300 centimeters or three meters. I wish I didn't make it that long, to be honest. Then for the first binding hole, you're going to poke the needle through the binding hole. Pull the thread all the way through, make sure the knot stays, because if it doesn't, you're going to want to tie it again. Then I go through the next hole to go right back out to the outside world. If it gets knotted, it's your nightmare. But anyway, <laughs> make sure it's not knotted anymore and start to pull your thread slowly. This project is a patient project. Now make sure it looks like that and continue threading the needle in and out the binding holes. Once you get to the last binding hole, pull the thread all the way through. After that is complete, you're going to put the needle through that signature hole, bring it back to the outside so that your needle and thread looks like a straight line and make sure you pull it tight, but not too tight that it rips the page. Once you've gotten to the last signature at the end, then tie a knot on the line of thread right next to it. And this is how you do it. By looping under, going through the hole, and pulling tight to make a knot. Make sure there is no space because it's going to make your book look lumpy. Pull the thread to make sure all the thread is tightened. That's what the hole or the knot, sorry, be looking like. Take your needle, bring it back through the hole so that the knot can come out on this side. Make sure you feel that little pop. Once the knot is through, you're going to add another signature on top. Put the needle through the first signature, or sorry, binding hole, and make sure it is aligned. All the holes are aligned. Make sure. Then pull the third all the way through. Put the needle through the next hole. Then push the needle right under the line of thread that would come before it. And then back up through the line of thread that came after the first line of thread. Once you've pulled it all the way through, what you want to do is put it right underneath the line that came out of the second signature and put it right back into the binding hole. Then tighten it so that you don't make the same mistake I did. Tighten it first. Then pull the needle through and continue the same steps that I previously spoke about so that you can get that nice kettle stitch. Once at the last thread, put it underneath the line of thread, then put the needle under the thread that came out of the signature, then put the other signature on top pulling the needle and thread through the line hole. You don't want to put it through there. You want to put the needle under that little tiny notch right there. So push it through, pull it. Then you're gonna go through and under. Well, under and then through, however you want to do it. Then go through the hole to get into the signature and follow that step. When you get to the end, you're going to 
loop it underneath put it through put it back to underneath what came out of the signature pull it a bit tight put it back into the signature then you're going to make a knot on the inside of the signature like so and tighten it tighten it good then push your needle through the signature that it came out of and pull until you feel a pop it should look like that and cut your thread to your desired length now it's time for you to mark off where you want to cut and then cut it so I decided to do 14 and a half you don't have to do 14 and a half you can cut off what you need but I personally like sticking to at least something so here I'm just marking out 14 and a half or 14.5 centimeters at the top and the bottom then I rotate the book and mark out 19.5 centimeters right here is where you're going to want to put something heavy to hold on the book make sure it is straight mark off if you need to where you want to cut and start cutting Ooh, look at those little strips of paper so pretty look at how smooth that is now take your book and turn it the next way i had to switch where i put my ruler because that felt so uncomfortable i am not left-handed i'm right-handed so keep cutting wow it's taking long to cut okay <laughs> now i'm gonna cut the other side this was a bit more difficult because it was quite thin so maybe you don't want to make it that thin look at that beauty y'all look at it now it's time to glue the spine. Take your Mod Podge, put it along the spine of the book with the, what do you call that, paintbrush. <laughs> I honestly felt like I put too much glue there, but it's fine. I like to do this little dab thing so I get it in between all the creases. And I put some more glue and squeezed it together so that I made sure I wasn't putting too much. Also, you may want to put two layers of glue. Now put something heavy on top of the edge of the book where the spine is. So that's where the book is. And also you want to make sure it's being pressed down firmly. Probably shouldn't have done that with my laptop. So guys, I got my Amazon package with the, the thing, the thing that I ordered. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Okay, so I bought this craft board mat thing that you can use to cut um, like anything on the mat and I also bought like this set that comes with it like the exact knife set so processes like these will be much easier and and it comes with 60 60 blades you know how difficult it was to find this envelope one. That looks like on my package. A bit disappointing for the environment. But um reuse or reduce and recycle guys. So this is it they did not look like that on the picture but hey look at that look at I love craft stuff anything to do with like and there's a backside how big this is oh, satisfaction guys and they have a I think I'm gonna cry this is beautiful if you guys want to see more DIYs comment down below also I'll put in the i cards some other DIYs that I have done another thing you know if you guys 
want to do the DIY and post it on social media, y'all can always tag me at Boy DIY. I won't mind, you know, I won't mind. Anyway, stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.